Hello YouTube, this is Tom Snow with Send 37 bringing you another video, another 140 scale uh, US uh, model airport update. So this is update number two. Um, in the last update I said, you know, updates may sort of follow, um, or may not follow year by year, and there may be multiple updates per year. Looking at the models that I have, and trying to keep a bit of a rotation in each update, so we're not using the same aircraft, um, all the time um, it's looking likely that each update will focus on each year um, so we, we're starting into the year 2000 so you're talking about maybe 20 uh, 2021 20, updates if we go up to like sort of present day um, you could argue maybe 2020 uh, in the real world um, things weren't maybe flying um, but I think I'll, I'll probably just feature that anyway um, just for the purpose of this uh, of this airport, uh, a bit like a fantasy year kind of thing, I guess, uh, with everything sort of grounded with COVID and everything, uh, possibly. Uh, to be honest, not sure how things were operating in the US compared to uh, the UK, so I don't really know in depth. But yeah, that's how it's going to be. So sort of like a year by year. That's just due to the amount, uh, mostly the Southwest models I have. I have quite a few, obviously, but um, I wouldn't say enough. To do multiple updates uh, in a in a specific year, uh, but not to worry. Uh, like I say, it's twenty one updates to get through, um, which I, I think probably will be weekly, um, more often than not. Um, some make it come a bit sooner. It depends on how the updates pan out and stuff like that, uh, and everything else going off. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, like I say, let's get on with this update. And, and again, you know, this airport is pretty small, so don't expect it to be like crammed with, uh, you know, models left, right and centre. Um, it's just a little uh, sort of adventure adventure I wanted to do. So, there's nothing really taxiing uh, around this side. Uh, but we'll zoom in, uh, focus on the aircraft uh, on stand. So, we'll start off with this uh, Airtron Airways uh, Boeing 717-200 uh, registration N84AT uh, once again uh, coming in from Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson uh, so previous update we featured DC-9 um, I am actually looking for some of the 737-700s uh, by Gemini Jet so if anybody's got any Airtron uh, 737s uh, available uh, please get in touch because they are kind of what I'm missing currently and um, I do think they look pretty smart and obviously to go with the aircraft I have like the DC-9s and 717s they would be pretty cool to feature uh, in these updates as well um, so far I haven't really been able to find any at a reasonable price so um, uh, like I say, if, if you know anybody that's got any, or if you've got any yourself, uh, get in touch. I'd be uh, appreciated. Uh, in the foreground there, we have a we have the Southwest Airlines uh, 737-700 N727 SW uh, Nevada One. Uh, this has just arrived in from Fort Lauderdale. Um, on the pictures I'll be posting on social media, uh, you would have seen this uh, taxiing in. Um, positioning on stand uh, and then next up we have a Boeing 737-500 uh, obviously uh, another Southwest Airlines uh, like I say uh, 737-500 M504SW uh, this will be heading out to St. Louis um, I think in the US you pronounce it as St. Louis uh, but I think here uh, originating from France, uh, he pronounced the S as silent. Um, so in the US, I think you do pronounce it St. Louis. Um, so if anybody's from the US or anybody knows how to pronounce that, um, just a clarification, that would be helpful as well. Um, and then in the foreground there, uh, pushing back, we have a, another Southwest 737. Uh, 700 registration N781 WN uh, in the New Mexico livery um, and this is heading out uh, being pushed back outbound to uh, Phoenix Sky Harbor and then if we uh, pan across um, there 
Uh, we have uh, the uh, one of the 737 uh, 200 that featured in the last update as well. Registration N93SW uh, and this is doing a service uh, from San Jose. And then in the very foreground if we just sort of zoom out we have this uh, taxing past. Uh, this FedEx A310 200F registration M442FE. Uh, this is inbound from uh, Long Beach, uh, Doherty Field. Um, like I say, cargo uh, will just be taxiing past. Uh, there's not enough, obviously, not adequate stands to beach any wide body aircraft anyway, uh, or anything really bigger than the 737 800, I'd say. Um, so anything bigger will just be sort of taxiing past, which I think um, there's reasonable space for, for most of the aircraft will feature uh, and stuff like that. But gives you an idea um, kind of how the updates, you know, from the first update, how the updates will kind of pan out. And um, yeah, like I say, this is a small airport, so don't be expecting, you know, models sort of lining up to be taxiing or anything like that. Of course, in each update, you know, I will try and vary where the aircraft are positioned and stuff like that so we'll feature aircraft featured on the far taxiway and stuff like that now and then um, and again uh, depends what uh, you know what we're wanting to uh, feature in the update itself I will just say most updates uh, that I've kind of gone through year by year they will probably feature roughly around about this amount of aircraft um, five or six models in each update uh, but I think it's like I say, for what it is, it's adequate enough. And um, I think, as always, you know, if you follow me on uh, social media, you'll, you'll probably see more kind of in-depth movement of, of certain models as well. Um, like the Nevada one taxiing in, the uh, New Mexico one taxiing out, and the FedEx sort of taxiing pass kind of thing, all that kind of stuff. Get more more of an idea of the actual operations and stuff. Whereas in a video, everything's just kind of still. Uh, but anyway, uh, I do appreciate. Um, in the last video, um, I think we got around about ten likes or more, and um, that seems to be the uh, common sort of ratio per video. So anyone that does like the video, I highly appreciate, and of course, any comments always appreciated as well. Uh, like I say. The, the, the updates probably will come maybe weekly, um, which is like, like I say, 21 updates, uh, 21 weeks worth, uh, which takes obviously into into the new year. Once we're done with, with this project, um, probably will feature, you know, start looking at the UK uh, model airport uh, updates and stuff. Um, I have got to work on a few things though, um, like with regards to that. Uh, because well, I say work on stuff. We're probably starting off on a year by year basis with that as well, and then get working our work to modern day. And then once we've done that, hopefully we can sort of settle down and just focus on uh, modern day operations. Once hopefully things settle down uh, in terms of you know what's going off with all this COVID stuff, because uh, that seems to be fluctuating again. Uh, but yeah, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.